is World Water Day today when 768 million people still draw water from unimproved sources. Nevertheless, the world has surpassed its target of the Millennium Development Goals of drinking water by five years ahead of the 2015 target. Katie's Joy Doreen Bira puts this into perspective. In a decade's time, it could turn into a scramble for water for the over 7 billion and rising population as access to clean water is fast becoming limited. A latest United Nations report indicates that lack of water, sanitation and sustainable energy could drive poverty levels further high. In Kenya, drought heat areas like Turkana and Turner also register some of the highest levels of poverty. They left to finish the unfinished business, to make sure that everyone uh, has access to safe drinking water. It's a fundamental human right. The United Nations now recommends that developing countries like Kenya that are dependent on agriculture need to adopt more integrated policies that will minimize the current two-thirds of water used for agricultural purposes. Think of, for example, uh, hydropower, it's obvious, it's a source of energy, direct source of energy. But even if you think of nuclear energy, you need water to cool the plants. And the same applies to other forms of thermal energy out of the oil, gas. So you need water for these other uh, forms of energy. If measures are not taken to attract more water through rainfall, by the year 2050, demand for water around the world is set to increase by 55%. This means fresh water will be needed for farming, construction, cooking, drinking and energy production. Currently, 20% of the world's underground water-bearing rocks are depleted, which could see the entire world have a severe water crisis. Joy Dorin Bira, KTN.